Hi everyone, this is Isabel and I'm back with another video. I wanted to share with you this junk journal that I made with wrapping paper and some scrapbook paper, which is the inside cover. All I did was sew all around it. Okay, it is a two signature journal. Okay, let's see. Okay, so what I did was I have a die cut that has that cuts three pockets. And so you have these little three journaling cards. They haven't been decorated or anything. They're just plain pieces of paper in there. And then for the pocket itself, I used um, some coffee dyed paper. And then for the little panels, I used the same wrapping paper. Okay, and then here's your first. This is the first signature right here. And then this is the second signature right here. Okay. And so this is the first page and I got a new Tim Holtz embossing folder the, with the type text, which is really nice. And then this is a very wide belly band. And then this is just patterned paper that I just tucked in here. And I did sew most every single page. And then for the next page, this is actually the packaging that was part of that die. Okay, and then um, you can tuck something underneath it. And then this is just the little um, cluster that I made with a whole bunch of leftover paper, lots of scraps, and then some stamping. Okay, and then there's a large tag with another little cluster to hold um, some tags here. Then I didn't do anything on this page, it's just blank for some journaling. And then this is just some book paper with some tickets and again some more packaging from a stamp I got. And then you can tuck anything in here. And some sewing to keep it together. And then this I used an embossing folder also, probably from Sizzix. It's really pretty. And then this is a picture that I printed off the internet. It's really pretty that I decided to make it into a corner pocket. And then here's my first binding. And then this page, this is a, this is, I did a video on this where I got some music paper that I decoupaged with a napkin. And so that's one of the pieces I used here. And so again, you can hold paper here and here. And then I didn't do anything here, left it open blank and then this is another tag that I did also this is coffee dyed then all I did was staple it and then these are just little scraps of paper that I put in here and I did do a video on how I um, dye inked this ribbon I can't think of the name of this ribbon anymore Okay, and I did just staple it here. I could have sewn it, but I just stapled it. Okay, and then for this page, I used a paper clip to hold this. And then what I did was that I got some scrapbook paper and I punched hole a big circle with the circle die on both sides. I mean, just not on both sides, but I just die cut it to have a circle in the center. And then this is from a, a book. And I think it might be two different pictures that I had to glue together. And then all I did was cut the little border around the, the circles. And then this is just book paper and there's a really nice poem there. And then this is probably coffee dyed paper. And then inside the little pocket itself, I put in some dictionary paper. And just random dictionary paper. I didn't, there's no reason for it. And then I just, I'm just holding it together with a paper clip. And then of course you have the, you have this pretty paper here in the back.
and this is uh, another cluster that I made with scraps and then these are um, this is an envelope I made um, some time ago I also did a video this is coffee dyed paper that I just stamped randomly with some stamps I took it in there and another little scrap cluster some sewing paper from a book a beautiful butterfly so pretty I didn't want to put anything on it and then for this one another butterfly from another, it's the same page back and front and then I what I did was I did two pockets with again basically I'm trying to use up a lot of my scrap paper and so this is parchment paper that's been coffee dyed and then this is more scrap paper and all I did was get some paper this is coffee dyed paper that I backed with a scrapbook paper that I put in here and then this is um, more scrapbook paper that I backed with some music paper that I put in this pocket. Coffee dye paper, my second signature here. This is another corner with some scraps. And then a little envelope. Another big pocket here. I don't think this one will fit, but you can put anything in there. A little coffee dye at the back of it. Another pretty butterfly page. And then the same thing, I used the whole front and back. And then what I did was that I made two pockets here, one with dictionary paper and one with just scrapbook paper. And then I put in these um, just pieces of scrapbook paper in here. So this journal has a lot of space for writing and memories. And then the next page is the other part of the sewing paper that I had and the other, the other side of the signature. And what I did was I got some of this paper that has scissors, scissors. It looks like it's some type of sewing paper and I made a little belly band on this side and then I just found this really nice scrapbook paper that I folded in thirds and that I tucked in into this belly band from one side to the other. And I just tuck this, holds it in place. Okay, so that's that. Then this one is just a it's just a flap so that you can either put your memories or put pictures or further embellish. And then this part of the flap is this part of the flap as well. And this one you can't lift. It's just to hold something in place. Okay. And then what I did was that I did a little, a little frame. So here's the paper. I put it through that same circle die cut. On two, this one I did use two sides of the paper, and then I put some uh, some of the packaging from the stamps, the die cuts that I bought, and then I left space in here in between both uh, in between both of the acetate, so that a picture can be placed in here, or anything else. I just need to find it. There's two in here. There it is. And it's open on both sides. You see there's open on both sides and then you're able to, I put this in here just to kind of hold it in place. But it can be um, a picture or any other pretty picture that you'd want in there. And then this holds it in place. And then this is the back cover. I did some more pockets. I used some of that, um, it's like a deli paper. It's very, very thin. And I kind of used it to cover up because I did stitching on the on the back cover around the little rectangles and postage stamps. And so so that that wouldn't be so visible, I went ahead and put that in there. And so now you're able to put something in this pocket and then I made a second pocket here. And all I did was I did a lot of sewing. It came out nice. It's not a very big journal. 
but it does have a lot of space for writing and drawing or whatever it is that um, one would do in a in a junk journal and I really like this die this is just one of the recent dies I I bought and just you can put whatever you want in there to hold uh, journaling cards and that's it and then I don't know I, I was thinking that this was kind of like a bee but uh, my husband is saying it looks more like a moth but either or um, I went ahead and put that in there and that's it for this one guys thank you so much for watching bye